Hi, I'm Mari Grigalunas, the Public Information Officer at the Village of Villa Park here on Village View. And today my guest is Police Chief Bob Pavelcheck. Thanks for being here. Morning. Thank great to be here. Thank you. And we're going to talk about some driving safety tips for winter conditions, correct? You know, Mari, when the, when the weather turns, it certainly presents a lot of challenges for people driving. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'd like to get as much information as we, uh, we can from the police perspective out to the community. Less crash reports that I have to take, less crashes people become involved in. So if we can get them a little uh, information, it'll be a good thing for all of us. Absolutely. So what uh, is the first thing we have to think about before we even get on the road? Well, they, they say when you when you fail to plan, you better plan on failing. And, and if the weather is turning bad, drivers have to ask, do you really need to make this trip? Is it essential? Or if we know bad weather's coming, could you have made the trip or made your, you know, your errand before the weather came? Because just this past week, we saw a big blizzard come on the East Coast. Right. A lot of criticism about how things were predicted. You know, weather forecasting is a guess. But if you think it's going to happen, why not stock up, run the errands you need to do? Mm -hmm. But say the trip is not an errand. Say you, you have to make a, a trip out. Certainly plan the safest route. Let people know that you're going to make this trip. Uh, okay. I'm a big fan of the Illinois Tollway. If you can, here's my pitch for paying tolls. Uh, the Tollway seems to be one of the mess, uh, best maintained roads okay. uh, in the area. Plowed, salted, uh, travel the routes that can really be the safest. So first part of the, the advice I would give people is, do you have to make the trip? Second, allow extra time. Certainly right. you're going to be driving slower, may have to take a different route. You know, do your planning and, and allow for extra time. Thirdly, let people know that you're making this trip. If you have mm -hmm. to venture out in bad weather, say to, you know, friends, neighbors, relatives, hey, I'm going to Uncle Ted's house. I've got to go into the city. Here's where I'm going to be. I have my cell phone with me. You know, give notification to people. Yeah. Lastly, is your vehicle in good shape? Um, if you're driving a car that, yeah, I was thinking about putting new tires, I can get away till the springtime, maybe you should put those tires on yeah. now. If your car's not up to snuff, is the tank full of gas? Wipers in good shape, washer solvent. Um, do you belong to the motor club? You know, if you need help on the road, can you get a hold of the motor club to come help you out, whatever club it might be? So between planning, notifying, allowing extra time, making sure the vehicle's in good shape, Lastly, slow down. And I say mm -hmm. this to everybody, even on normal driving days. So many people, myself included, are in a hurry to get places. We have lots of errands to run. Slow down, take it easy, allow that extra time. Um, I was driving uh, as a passenger in a car recently with a young man, friend of mine, and I noticed he saved all his braking right to the end of the stop. Yeah. And I told him, I says, you know, you're going to leave all that braking to the end on a slippery street, you're going to get the big surprise. So you really have to plan for that. And, and yeah. by slowing down, applying the brakes earlier. Leaving it, some extra space. You gotta leave that yeah. interval. Um, some of the driver's ed classes that I've taught, we talk to young people always about leaving that interval, plenty of space. And sometimes it gets to be frustrating. You leave lots of room with the car in front of you, mm -hmm. and then somebody jumps into that space. So now yeah. you gotta back off a little more, but eventually you get where you're going safe and sound. Awesome. Well, thank you. Is there anything else you wanted to remind people about? I think we covered a lot of it. Well, we did cover a lot of it. And like I say, it, it's all about planning. It's about taking your time. And, you know, I, I'd like people to slow down. The less crash reports I have to send our officers out for, uh, the less paperwork they have to do. They're not out in a slippery street where it can be unsafe. Uh, maybe one thing I should probably touch on, too, for, for people that might be involved in a traffic collision, and we call them collisions and crashes. We don't call them accidents anymore because right. they don't happen by accident. Is it always, uh, if you are involved in a crash, first of all, if anybody's hurt, you need to get attention for those people. But if you can move out of the roadway, move to a safe location, get away from the slippery spot, um, you're going to be much safer. I can recall uh, years ago handling a traffic crash on a street where I was out helping people and somebody slid in the back of my squad car. Oh. So the sooner we can get out of the slippery danger zone, uh, the safer everybody will be. So just always consider that. Often people want to say, well, I want to stay right here so the police can see. Yeah. Well, if you stay there, you may be unsafe, so you have to balance safety with that. So always be as safe as you can. Well, thank you for coming by, Chief, and giving us all these good tips, especially in this cold, icy, slick weather we're having. My pleasure, Mari. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it very much. Thanks.